Welcome to Project Lead the Way, Miniature Train Project. I'm going to make the hitch peg. So I'm going to start a new drawing, and the first thing I'm going to do is save it. Very good habit to get into. I'm actually very bad about <coughs> saving as I go along, so something you want to do. Hitch peg. I always put a name on it. That way your teacher knows you're the one doing the work. So this one's not too bad. We're going to do a revolution. So we're going to draw the bottom. It comes out a diameter 0.25, but I'm only doing half. So 0 0.25 slash 2. And actually, I will go up from there. I'll go up inside. It goes up 0 0.65. And I'll do the outer one. It comes up 0 0.5. Then it goes out for a total diameter of 0 0.4, but we already have 0 0.25 divided by 2. So 0 0.4 minus 0 0.25 slash 2. And that gets me to where I want to go. Now it says it has a spherical radius of 0 0.208. So we make an arc. We grab this point and this point. And then we just type in 0 0.208. Give me a hard time right now. Cancel it, try again. Arc. Actually, I want to check something before I do that. I want to make sure I got this diameter right. It feels a little bit off. And it won't let me do that, so let me just measure. It's uh, 0 0.6. Should be 0 0.5. Hmm. So obviously I messed up. So let's fix this. Didn't mean to leave my sketch. I'm making a nice hash of this. 0 0.4 minus. .25 slash 2. Oh, that's perfect. 0.275 plus 0.125. Yeah, that's right. All right, let's try this arc thing again. I don't know why it's giving me a hard time. Point 0.208. I think it's because it can't do this one. Yeah, it's not going to let me do it. Cancel. Let's make a circle here. Two zero eight times two. And let's move. Here's what we're going to move. Here's the starting point. Time about constraints. I'm a little surprised by that. Grab that from there to there. Very weird. Now yeah, let's just move it around. Now yeah, we'll move some constraints in. Anything to do with them? Move you if 
Fair enough. Now notice it doesn't come out and hit at the proper spot, so I am confused. <clears throat> and I've pointed this out before. Um, sometimes this just happens. You're just going to have to do the best you can with what you got. So I'm going to make a funky looking hitch peg. Let's trim. this and trim finish sketch revolve well, let me pick it I want to try it anyway and when I built this it didn't like it so I have to go in and close the loop Sketch, valve, picks it automatically. There we go. So that turns out to be one of the harder ones, even though it looks very simple. The dimensions don't seem to match up. <clears throat> I'm not sure how to handle the spherical radius of 0.208 because it wouldn't let me, so I just did the best I could. Let's give it some kind of metallic color. Sure, why not? And save it. That's it. Good luck.